Anytime a wheel is rebalanced and a lead wheel weight removed, California's Department of Toxic Substances Control now requires the lead wheel weight be replaced with one made of material compliant with the state's lead-free wheel weights law. There are a number of different products on the market that are, there are some that are alloys of different metals, copper and zinc are used in some of them, tungsten, and there are some plastic wheel weights available. So there are things on the market and on DTSC's website, we do have links to information on different types of wheel weights that are on the market. It's estimated 5% of lead wheel weights fall off of vehicles. Passing traffic often then grinds the lead weights into particles that contaminate the surrounding area. High levels of lead are typically found along urban roadways and in runoff from parking lots. Lead can be highly toxic and has been linked to neurological and behavior problems, especially in children. So California banned the sale and installation of lead weights to help keep lead from leaching into water supplies and other parts of the environment. Failing to use a lead-free weight could lead to a fine of up to $2,500 for each violation. The old lead weights must be treated as hazardous waste. That means they can't simply be thrown into household garbage. The good news, though, for most shops is they probably already have a waste hauler who can properly dispose of the lead weights. The best thing to do would be to speak with your hazardous waste contractor, and I'm certain they're going to have a solution that they're going to be able to help with the disposal of lead wheel weights. And it doesn't take a complex system nor special containers to store the weights inside a shop, but it does help if employees have a designated space to put the weights as soon as they are removed. They take the weight off and put it in a five gallon bucket. When the buckets are full, we accumulate them and put them on a pallet and ship them out of state. Now, there have been some questions about the adhesion quality of the stick-on weights. This is a problem that came up in the past, and it can be solved by taking the time and putting in the effort to make sure the wheel is properly prepared for the weight. You have to make sure it is absolutely 100% clean with no debris, almost down to bare metal before it'll adhere onto the wheel. Um, once we determine the, what type of cleaning it's going to need, if we're going to need to do a, a hard sanding on it uh, with an abrasion pad, or just go ahead and, and do our standard uh, chemical cleaning on it. Uh, we just saturate the rag and just start rubbing until it comes clean. And once you start seeing the, the silver of the aluminum wheel, then that's you're getting close to, to uh, the prep time. Once you have it clean and dried, then you can take the weight, choose the amount of weight that you need, peel it off, stick it on. You want to hold it so to make sure that any air pockets are trapped in there, and then it, then it's on. For more information on the California lead-free wheel weights law, you'll find frequently asked questions on the Department of Toxic Substances Control's website under Lead Wheel Weights or contact the state's regulatory assistance office at 1-800-728-6942.